Hi, I want you to get hold of a scarf or a band or even a pole and we're just going to work on putting some flexibility into our spine. I've got a band here. So first things is I want you to pull your shoulders back and down. Just hold on to your hip bones or just find your hip bones at the front. Bring your hands together and just pull your tummy away from your hands. So just that lower part beneath your navel. So pull in there and just lift your pelvic floor slightly. Okay, take your pole, your scarf or your band, just hold it above your head, drop your shoulders down and I want you to breathe in and just lift your ribs up and then as you breathe out, just bring your ribs back down. Other side, inhale, lift your ribs and breathe out, bring your ribs back down. Let's do it again, breathe in and then breathe out as you come back. One more, breathe in and breathe out as you bring your ribs back down. Now do it again a little bit more fluidly. So we're just gonna go from side to side and I'm just working right through my midriff. I'm not thinking about what my hands are doing at all. Let's put a bit more movement in and just push your hip out to the side, other side. Okay, make sure that you're not taking your hands behind you and just feel that lovely stretch going all the way down the side. Okay, let's do four more. Three, two, keep your shoulders down, one, bring your hands back and just bring them down to shoulder height, drop your shoulders back and we're going to twist, so I'm going to lift my heel of the opposite foot, so I'm going to twist to the left, lifting my right heel and vice versa, okay, twist, take your head all the way around, look right behind, let's do six more, so that's one and two, keep your shoulders down, three, four, five, last one, six, excellent, okay, take your hands quite wide, again keeping your shoulders down, let's take our arms all the way up, now keep your rib cage down and try to take your hands all the way behind, fabulous stretch for the front of your shoulder, breathe in and breathe out as you take your hands back, let's do three more, breathing in and exhale, inhale, and exhale back. Last one. Breathing in and breathe out. Take your hands back. Last one. Now take your hands up to the side, keeping your shoulders down. And I want you to bring your hand down, squat slightly, take that front hand up, and then just lead all the way back. Let's do it again. So I'm going to take my right hand back, down with the left, over with the right, and then come all the way back up. Again, two more, coming down, over, and all the way back up. One more, take it back, down with the left, over with the right, all the way back up. Now let's do the other side. So I'm gonna lead with my right hand, take it down with the left, over with the right, all the way back up. Again, lift, reach down. Two more, take it up, squat down, Take your hand all the way up and round, and this is your last one. Take it up, scoop down, over with that top hand, and then just release your arms down. Okay, you can just lose your band for now, and I just want to mobilize the spine in our uh, frontal or forward plane. So take your hands up to the ceiling, but focus on lifting your ribs all the way up. Okay, bring your hands back down. Now tuck your chin in towards your chest, and then we're just going to roll the spine down. So relax your arms. Make sure that you keep your weight through your toes as well as through your heels. Tuck your chin in. Breathe in at the bottom. And we'll breathe out as we curl back up. Let's take the hands up. Lift your ribs to the ceiling. And again, bring your hands back down. Chin rolls to chest. Tuck your chin right in. Tummy is in. Keep your pelvic floor lifted and you're just gonna roll all the way down. Let's curl back up and we'll do two more. Breathing in and breathe out as you come back down. Chin tucks into chest, relax your arms. Breathe in at the bottom and then we'll curl back up. Okay, last one. So you're gonna take your hands up, lift your ribs right up to the ceiling. Now if your back's not too keen on this, you need to bend your knees slightly. 
Okay, chin to chest, and we'll roll the spine down. Let's go all the way back up. Drop your shoulders back and down. Now I want you to turn your palms forward and we'll just work on our neck. So just drop ear to shoulder and same on the other side. Again, ear to shoulder, other side. Keep your tummy tucked in. Okay, two more. Come back into centre, then just have a look across over your shoulder and other side. And again. Two more. Last one. Back to centre, now drop your chin to your chest, bring your chin right in towards the back of your neck and then take your head right the way up. And again, chin to chest, head comes up. Two more, chin to chest, take your head up. And last one, chin to chest, take your head up. And we'll come back to the start. Now this next one is brilliant if you've got any sort of uh, problems with the back of your neck but it just looks a bit odd. So I want you to take your chin forward, bring your chin back, and again forward, and then give yourself a really good double chin. Two more, double chin, last one. Double chin, and then just come back to neutral. So let's come down onto all fours, and we're just gonna carry on mobilizing our spine. 